My name is Josh Clare, and I'm excited to be working with Bell Muse Productions on this uh, demonstration video. All right, so let's discuss the painting or the image that I'll be working from today. This is the barn just a block away from where I live. A painting, in my experience, almost never turns out unless you believe that it's going to turn out. I'm getting the value right first. The color doesn't have to be perfectly accurate as long as you've got correct values. I like when there's a little bit of mystery, something for the viewer to, uh, to create or to fill in themselves. I love when an artist can help me to feel, get a sense of detail. I just, I think paintings that are, that are handled that way are more interesting. I enjoy them more, so I try to do that in my work to indicate detail rather than elaborate or spell everything out, put it all in. I'll clean this palette up a little bit just by scraping these piles into uh, kind of medium tones. And I'll leave them there and I'll end up probably pulling from those to modify colors later. But playing around with paint like this is way too much fun. I don't think we should be allowed to have this much fun as artists. When you lay it on heavy and then it's almost like it is finger painting, that's what I'm doing, but it's almost like sculpture when you have this much um, just pigment on the canvas. It's way, way fun. Sometimes you have to scrape out a thing and repaint it two or three or four times in order for it to have a, an unworried look. The beauty of, of tons of paint in an area like that um, is only really apparent when it's, it's juxtaposed against a really, really thinly painted, washy area. You want to develop your skills and you want to practice and you want to work on your color and value and edges and there's so many things to think about but include in that little list of things that you need to improve on as an artist confidence and work on uh, just a, a healthy belief in yourself and your ability to do things.